Working with large projects in Cubase can be difficult because it's hard to get a sense of all the components when you can't see them at once. Let's take a quick look and listen at this project. So as we kind of scroll up and down, you see we have a lot of different tracks and components, effects return channels, automation, different components all going on to make this project. And while computer monitors have gotten larger, display resolutions have increased, it's still hard to see hundreds of different elements at once. So Cubase has some great visibility options to really help with this scenario. So if we see on our inspector, we actually could enable the visibility tab. And then once we do that, we see these circles that are illuminated. And what we could do here at this point is actually if we wanted to hide particular channels from our view, we can click in these circles like so. Now you may notice that some of these circles are also to the left of little triangles. And these triangles are folder tracks. So if I wanted to hide an entire folder, let's say if I come up here, I have guitar parts, I didn't want to see any of the guitars, I could choose to hide everything that's within that selected folder track. Now we can have different configurations that can be stored as well. So, and we could go to this icon on our toolbar menu here, and then I'm gonna add a configuration for all tracks. So I'll just say all. But let's say I wanted to only see tracks that were in my percussion and guitar group. So I can add a configuration and we'll call it percussion guitar. We can have our custom views that are just instantly recallable. And if we go to your key commands, we could actually under channel and visibility and channel and track visibility, you can actually configure eight user assignable keyboard shortcuts to have your eight user definable keys plus other functions defined directly as key commands. Now, one of the things that could be helpful also is some different visibility agents. So let's say if I wanted to look at all of my tracks and I have several tracks that are selected here in my project. So let's say I want to do my lead vocal and the synth bass part and I want to see these parts together. At this point, we could go to the icon just to the right here and we have some different scenarios. So I could say, let's show only the selected tracks. So we could do that. Now we could also, we'll just go back directly and show all of our tracks. I could choose to hide the selected tracks. So at this point, we could just say, those tracks will be hidden from view. One of them that's very interesting is a couple right here. So let's say I'm playing my project and I hear something just, just kind of like alerts me. could actually choose to show what tracks are actually playing at the cursor position and that will hide all the tracks that weren't playing at that moment in time so again I could just come here and choose to say whatever is at the cursor position when I come here we could say show tracks that are only with the cursor playing at the cursor position and then we'll get different results and I often get asked, will this update in real time? No, which, and you don't want it to because it will just drive you crazy trying to find a particular track. So let's go back to show all tracks. And one of the other ones is let's say if I only have between my left and right locators, I have these set up and I only want to see the tracks that are playing between the left and right locators. And that way I could hide every track that wasn't playing at that particular moment in time. Or if I'm working with a large template, a very handy function, if I don't have tracks that have musical data on them, I could just say, we just want to only show the tracks that actually have data on them. So you can see that there's a number of different visibility options with this. And there's also some project logical editor presets that you could call up for different scenarios as well. 
And people often ask, okay, this is great, but what about syncing this, these visibility options with my mix console? And there's this little option right here, just to the right of the visibility tab, which will allow you to synchronize these different project views with the mix console. So when I go to open up my mixer, and again, we could just have these different configurations to be recalled and have those in sync with our project window as well. So as you can see, regardless of how many tracks you have, the different visibility options in Cubase can really help you get around and be able to find what you need to within your project. If you have found this video helpful, please feel free to like the video and to subscribe to the channel.